everybody on here has shared Young Living. Well, you probably all shared Young Living, right? Like, how do you not tell people about this? I mean, you know, even me as an introvert, like, it's so hard for me not to, to reach out across my social anxiety and nervousness and, and fears and reach out and talk to somebody and tell somebody about this because I care about people, you know, and I love people and I want them to have something that works and that takes care of them. And, um, you know, when you find something that works, it's so life changing and so empowering and, you know, you want to share it with people and, so, and we do that, right? We do that anyways, like whether you, you know, you found, you know, restaurant or a uh, movie or any type of service or whatever, you know, you tell people about it because you're like, oh, hey, you have to try these people out. They were great. So it's a very natural thing for us to do. And, um, you know, Young Living, when they started 26 something years ago as, as the company, I mean, Gary Young has been doing this early into the early 80s. Um, and kind of started, started blending his nutrition supplements and started working with oils well before he founded Young Living as a company. So Young Living as a company started over about 26, 25 years ago. Um, but, but they started it out as a network marketing company. And that was a really smart move for them on um, many different levels. Um, the more I've gotten to know the company, the more I've realized that they did it because of their mission. And their mission is to get oils into every home. I mean, that's, that's, you know, I mean, that makes sense for a company, right? Like, yeah, we want our product everywhere. But they, they, they really believe that they want oils because of the empowerment, because, it, because of what it can do for people and, and the good that it can give into every home. So they've kind of given us these different channels to be able to access that. For those of us, those people that are able just to buy it, buy whatever you need for your family, you don't have any financial restraints, any budgeting that you have to worry about, you can order what you want from Young Living, no problem. Like, just think about for a second, what would your ER order look like if you didn't have to worry about a budget? If you didn't have to worry about any type of, you know, income or putting putting money in different places, you just fill your cart up with what um, with what takes care of you. Vivian's asking me what happened. She got dropped. I don't know, girl. Your computer. Hold on. You disappeared. <laughs> there. That's what happened, Vivian. Hopefully, she'll pop back on. <laughs> Um, so if you can, you know, so there's people that are able to do that, right? They, they don't, th their financial stability is, is incredible and they are able to just order whatever they want. Um, and so, so oils are in that home, young living products are in that home. Um, for myself, that, that was not my case. And so I started out with just being able to do the starter kit. And that was a lot for my family. This was five years ago. Um, five and a half years ago, that was a lot for my family, and I felt really guilty using our money for other family budgeted line items and and buying this kit. I was taking a leap of faith and trusting my friend. I had seen that she'd been having success with her little one, and I had two little girls. I was searching for something to help them. I didn't. I knew enough about like what toxins were doing to our bodies that I knew I wanted to avoid them. <laughs> I didn't really know any details, but I knew toxins were bad. <laughs> and I knew toxins were in a lot of products. So, you know, how do I find this? I was tired of going to health food store after health food store trying to find um, products that wouldn't, that I didn't have to read the labels and do internet searches on them and try and figure it out. So she, you know, she started telling me, well, Young Living kind of does that for you. They, they don't, they already screen everything. All the ingredients that goes in there is something that they've really researched. So I'm like, okay, so this is a company that I might be able to trust. 
Like, and are they going to get bought out and then change the ingredients on me? Like so many companies do. No, they've been around for, you know, 20 years at that time and, and they're going strong and I'm, okay. Okay. So, um, so it was, it was, you know, it was a leap, but I, I bought the oils just to like for my girls in falling and getting bumps and bruises and, you know, light, light stuff. And then of course, fast forward five and a half years and like we've let, let go of so much health issues, emotional stuff, you know, all these kinds of things. But anyways, so when I got my kit, it was hard for me to buy my kit, right? Then um, I, t Stephanie, who signed me up, that's who I signed up with. She told me, you know, hey, just so you know, if you sign somebody up, you could get 50 bucks. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, and, and then that happened for me. I told a friend because this stuff was incredible. My friend signed up and I got a paycheck for $50. And that $50 was so important because that meant I could buy more of this stuff that I was quickly discovering was doing some really good things for my family and myself. Because I had, I don't know if you guys know my, my stress away story, <laughs> I was having a panic attack. And um, I did what Stephanie told me. Stephanie told me, take all of your oils out of your box, put them around your home in places that you're going to see them. And so I had stress away in a place where I saw it while I was having this panic attack. And I took my, took my breaths of this oil and everything calmed down. And so when that happened to me, I was like, okay, what is this stuff? <laughs> what was in here? What was in here? Somebody tell me, teach me. And that's when I got engaged. And that's when I started learning. That's when I started really reading my book and wanting to know more. Um, so, so when I got $50, that wasn't money that I was taking from our food budget or wasn't money that I was taking, you know, from our household and all those things. And I was able to take that money and then order more of this good stuff. It was really empowering. And as a young, you know, or a mom of young children struggling and, you know, just my one income in our family, all of that, it was, it was really, really, really helpful. And then I was able to sign up some more friends and my paycheck got bigger and it, it really was incredibly empowering. And so then, I mean, I'm not right, right away, but I have since realized that's the other path that Young Living has offered us. That's the other path that they have offered us to be able to get oils into every home. If you're not able to just buy it outright with no restraint on your budget, here, We'll, we'll help you. We'll help you. You love it. We're not trying to do some Lord, you know, like scammy MLM salesy thing. You love it. You want it in your home. Here is a way to help you get it into your home. And so that was something I was able to do while being a mom and not really changing my life in any drastic way. I didn't have to go back to work. I didn't have to, you know, sacrifice any big things. I was able to just tell my friends and, you know, casually share a little bit, do stuff that was fun. And I was able to get a paycheck and my paycheck has continued to increase and increase and increase to the point where then I was like, maybe I don't have to go back to work. Maybe I don't have to go back to work and I can stay home with my family. And then I was able, then my paycheck got to the place where I was able to just really discover the third avenue that Young Living offers. So there's the, there's the avenue of the, the people that don't have a budget restraint. There's the opportunity for us who, to have an income to be able to buy what we want for our family. And then there's the income opportunity to then be able to give back and donate. And my family has been donating to the Young Living Foundation for now maybe three years, where I now just have money taken out of my paycheck, my Young Living paycheck, and we sponsor a child at the Young Living Academy. And we donate every month. Yeah, now, now there's several other people on here, faces that I see that are also donating. Raise your hand. We're all donating to the Young Living Foundation every month and we're giving back and we're allowing those kids that are in serious poverty, 
my husband visited them um, last October. Like he went to the little boy's house that we sponsor and there's no street signs. There's, it's a metal roof. You know, there's, they're like, they, they don't have anything. The mom is really young, there's no father. Um, we're, we're able to help. And those kids at that school, cause my husband's a nurse, those, he was talking to the nurse there. Those kids don't have health problems. <laughs> they have incredible food at the school and the, they have oils everywhere. Like the kids, the kids, part of their research and their science classes is learning about how the oils work and how plants work to heal and how to, to take care of your body in a natural way. So that's that third avenue. That's that other way. So every time when you order your products, every time click the little box that says, I, I will round up my order and donate your change. And Vivian, you'll maybe have to say the number of, of, of how, what the potential is of how, if all of us donated our, our change, like we really are getting oils into every home. If you start following the Young Living Foundation, you'll see the work that they're doing around the world. Um, even locally, when my community had the campfire, um, Young Living Foundation donated so many oils back to, into the homes that, um, that were members that lost everything, my mother included. Um, and then our, our, our community as well, we all got together and we donated. So it's this other level of empowerment. You know, it's this uh, this whole other level of um, engagement in, in our community. So, you know, you guys have started to discover the community that we have here and how it's, you know, I don't want to call it a bubble because that means like we're like overprotected, but <laughs> it's like this, this community, this bubble. Of we lost $4 million in 2018 by not rounding up our donations. $4 million. So please round up. Okay, if you get anything from tonight, round up your order. <laughs> um, but so we're, we're, we're creating this community for ourselves of people, like-minded people that, you know, we're all on different journeys in our, in our healing process and our education about Young Living and, and what, you know, true health looks like and how to achieve that. Um, but we're all here for each other and we're all here to support each other and cheer each other on. And um, that is, is that also that empowerment. And so that's a big part of why when somebody's interested in natural wellness or essential oils or CBD or anything like that, getting them engaged in our community, which means saying, if you want to buy something, use my member number. Use my member number. This is referral based. I'm going to get you in to this community that is hand in hand life changing. It was as powerful as these oils, and as powerful as these products. Like, you know, I've so many of us bought oils or other things, you know, from other places. I don't know how much money I would spend at health food stores trying to buy supplements and figure, figure my health out and never really did. <laughs> it wasn't until I got into the Young Living community that I started getting that peer-to-peer -peer education and hearing those testimonies and learning about these products and being taught about how my body actually works. You know, like you guys see in our classes, we talk about how your body works and how to support it on a system level. We don't say take this and it will cure everything. We say you, you know, you have to understand the root cause of what's going on and work from there, both on an emotional level and a physical level. We don't say take this and everything's going to work out perfectly. We say, no, you need to drink your water. <laughs> you need to eat healthy foods. You need to exercise and you need to nourish and support and detox, right? So you get all of that from our community. And, and if somebody's interested in, in learning more or, or wanting to buy oils or, do, or maybe just buy an oil from you and you just sell them the one oil, this isn't, I mean, it, okay, this is frankincense. It is magic. It is magic. But you know what I'm saying? It's not magic in the sense that this is it's, it's, it's magic. It's not magic in the sense that it's going to, um, you know, end all of their problems. What, what does that is a person becoming an advocate for their own health, 
right? And learning about all of this stuff. And we get that in this community. I'm sure you can get it other places. I didn't, I didn't, I got that here. So I truly believe it is so important that I tell people, if you're interested, please use my number because I want you in these groups. Like this is where it's at. This is how you change your life from this engagement and this support system. So I've had to then work at all of my fears and all of my insecurities around reaching out and saying, use my number, you know, it's a referral, I'll get paid 50 bucks, like, oh my God, how selfish. But, but no, did you just hear my story? Did you just hear how important that $50 was to my family? That was huge. If my friends knew that them just ordering took care of my family in that way, what, who would say no? You know, who would be like, oh no, I'm gonna go to Target. <laughs> like, like, let's spread this message of how wonderful this system is, it has been set up for us to all be successful. Some people take advantage or need it and utilize it. Some people don't. A lot of people don't even know about it. And that's why I'm so glad you guys all came to this group and this class tonight, because we need to know about this other level of young living, you know, and even if you're not interested, or even if the person you, you, you know, your friend that joins isn't interested, they still need to know, because you know how powerful it is to share this one drop, and like, you're basically offering hope, right? Like, this is like, hey, your, your life can change, you don't have to live like this, like, that's what it was for me, I was like, I don't have to live like this, I don't have to be in constant pain on a daily basis, what? Um, everybody has always told me, no, that's just the way life is now. No, your life can change. So just as, just as powerful as that message is, the income opportunity is that powerful as well. Because it's changing lives everywhere as well. And it's whatever you want to make of it, right? It's whatever you're interested in, whether you just want $50 a month, 30, 300 or, you know, a full-time job, part-time job, whatever you want. It's what you make of it. So um, we got to talk about this. Because like this new swag from, um, from the Young Living Gear store. I got really excited for this. <laughs> so like, so that's what I was saying is that I had to, push through my insecurities and my fears of reaching out to people and feeling confident in saying that. But my journey and my reflection on all of this that I just shared with you has helped me say, Talia, it's not about you. When you're sharing this with other people, it's not about you. I have to get my stuff out of the way so that I can reach that person. And I can, I can reach out and say, hey, here's an opportunity for you. So I did a post in um, the Green Life Oilers group about how many times, you know, like how many times did you, did you hear or see or touch or whatever essential oils or Young Living before you joined? And some of you guys said, love it for sight. But I do have to say, I'm sure you had at least heard about them. I, I mean, I think Gretchen, you said, was that the very first time you'd ever heard about Young Living Oils with, with Jaylene in the car? Yes, it was. But the very first time, but I did not follow up with her. I've got to ask her. I was meaning to do that this week because I really want to know to see if she remembers. It had to have been at least two years later before I finally contacted her. Mm -hmm. I, I, every once in a while I'd get this, ask Jaylene about the oils, ask Jaylene about the oils. And I'd be like, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. But I, I'm pretty sure it was at least two years later um, that I finally then reached out to her. But that was the very first time that I had heard about Young Living. Um, well, actually, I don't even, I don't remember her even in my band talking about the name Young Living, just about these oils that she used with her family and back then it was just when you were starting to hear about essential oils and i'd maybe heard about them but maybe i don't you know it was a very new thing if i did but i just 
what she said really touched me. And I, even though that was the first time me meeting her, it was just real believability. And I, I knew at some point that I needed to contact her and eventually I did. Awesome. So that's, that's really good for us to hear each other's kind of path towards signing up, you know, and to think about your own, because that can be a big part of being, feeling discouraged. You know, well, I told my friend and they said no, or they're not interested, or she didn't get back to me or something like that. But to, to really recognize that it takes, sometimes it takes people a long time to make that decision. And or we were listening to somebody else who was also kind of talking about this and like, how many times do you put something in your, your shopping cart on Amazon? And then you say like, oh, save for later. And then oh, I'll delete it. And then you go back and you add it again later. Oh, save for later. And it just goes back and forth. It never quite makes it to the checkout cart. <laughs> um, but maybe finally it does. And so we have to recognize that with ourselves and and with our friends and, and give them love and give them grace and understand it's their journey. And until you've really engaged in this, you don't know the value. You, uh, and I mean, I don't think I even know the full value of this yet. I really don't. There's so much depth, so much depth to this. And being that we're onions, you know, we have these layers that we just have to peel off to be able to get to that inner light, to get to our inner core and our divine self. Um, it takes a while. So, so for somebody, you know, not new, very new to all of this, you know, the more we can share our stories, the more we can share inspiration and hope and encouragement and belief in them, you know, um, they'll it's it's you know takes that time of realizing even realizing your own potential like i said i didn't think i was ever going to heal i thought i was going to be on medication for the rest of my life i thought i was just going to continue to get worse and worse and worse i didn't i had no clue right and probably wouldn't have believed somebody if they told me so um the more we can just keep being that beacon of light i have a little like um you know, when some of the teas that you get have little quotes on them, the one that I have in, in my bathroom, so I see it every day, says, be the lighthouse. And so that's, that's been something for me is like, be the lighthouse, show people the hope, show people that there is, there is a way. And I know there are other ways or other pathways for sure, but this is a incredible one and has been so life-changing for I know most of you on here for sure too with uh, the element of the, the products the community uh, you know that, that education and then and then this this whole other element this like I said this whole other level of young living of the that the um opportunity financial the income opportunity to be able to have that freedom and and for you to know that just like you're learning like whoa health you know feeling good might actually be real for me again like i might actually be able to not have pain on a daily basis or to not have that anxiety or not have whatever you know whatever fill in the blank um to also add to that list I might also be able to have the opportunity for, for a financial income that offers me freedom and offers me the ability to say yes to myself, to my children, to my family, you know, to my dreams, or however big you want to make it. There, there is that same opportunity with the income opportunity with Young Living. It is very real. And it really is what you make of it. It truly is. And just like I will love on you for your wellness journey, wherever you are in that, I will love on you for wherever you are with your goals for an income with Young Living. You know, whether you're just like, I just want to be a star and be able to have my orders. I love you, girl. I love you. You know, or you're like, I want to quit my job and retire my husband. Okay, let's do this. Like, I'm with you. And I, and I know hundreds of people that would say the same thing to you um, with this. So, okay, so, <laughs> um, so sharing basics, it's, it's, it's just being you. It is being you and your authentic self. 
So there is not a put on a mask or a suit or something weird and go out and, you know, convince people to do something. It is, it, the, the more I learn about this, the more it's about me being the best person I possibly can be. And when I'm able to be in that place where I feel good and confident and true to myself, that's when I'm connecting with other people the best also, right? When I'm hearing them and I'm, and I'm feeling them, that's when I'm connecting to them and that's what I'm able to to really share and engage this this can be yours also let's talk about that you know so um yeah it's 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 really like I find that when I'm when I've let go of my insecurities and fear and I can just talk and I can just, it almost like is like this flow that comes out and I'm able to really connect with somebody and, and, and help them. And they might not sign up right then and there, but, but I'm planting seeds and I'm, and I'm showing them that I love them and that this is coming from a true place of wanting to help. Uh, that's, that's what sharing young living at its core is about. That's really what it is at its core. So then, you know, then there's all the things, but I think all the other things have to do with what are your, what are your goals? Like, what do you want for your, you know, do you want to, to have this be more of an income for yourself? Then, okay, then, then you can start looking at it more as if in a business way and have some lists and have some notes and have a calendar and like do the things. Um, but that's, that's dependent on what you want. Really just the basics of sharing or just being true to yourself and connecting with people. And I think the only like requirement is saying, and use my member number as your referral. <laughs> That's what you just gotta do. <laughs> gotta you gotta be able to find those words and say, use my use my link, use my number, um, and that is what's gonna connect them to our community, these resources to you, you know, and to bless you and your family and bless them and their family at the same time. It's that link. It really, really, really is that link, and. If somebody goes to Young Living and they just go to youngliving.com and they say become a member and they do all the things, but they don't say someone referred them. They don't click on, yes, Christina referred me, here's her member number. Um, they just get kind of put into a, a bank of, of people and then they're just placed with uh, anybody, and any Young Living member who's kind of like uh, had actively enrolling people so it could be anyone now those of us who have been in the young living world a while um have gotten to know other um like teams like what you call us a team gotten to know other teams and have seen that that we're, we're kind of awesome <laughs> Our team is kind of awesome and not just not just like green light boilers, you know, Stephanie and Flourish and then our upline above her is Heather and John Brock and their education group is amazing. Above her, you have Sarah Wallace and her education group is amazing and Sarah Johnson and Deborah Rayburn. We come from like a really good family <laughs> of young living leaders. And you are all members of theirs as well. So when you are ready for more education, when you're interested in a different perspective, because I am not your limit for education or knowledge or anything, like I am not your limit. This is you, then that's the thing is that you're your advocate, right? So you're your advocate for your health, but you're also your advocate for your, your income and, and what you want, what you need. So, um, you know, we can add you to those other groups like uh, Sarah Johnson is amazing with um, like tying all of Young Living into scripture and to um, a very, she's a very spiritual based group. And so that's really amazing and empowering and can be a wonderful thing for, for a lot of people. Uh, so there's all these great places for you to go for whatever you're interested in. You just have to learn that 
speaking up and advocating for yourself and saying, hey, Talia, do you know of something that can help me with blank and, and look around for it? But anyways, so you want your friends to get in our group. <laughs> um, other groups don't offer this type of education and training that has come down through the lineage of our Young Living family. Um, you know, I was raised in Young Living to, to, um, to teach from a health and wellness space, like from a body systems, from a, your body um, knows how to heal. And we're the ones that get in the way of that. <laughs> so your body has innate, innate ability to heal. And when we can remove all those blocks and bring in the goodness, that's that's how um, health happens and so that's kind of like been the core of all the education that we get from our our, our lineage from our young living family and you don't really see that other places i mean i know vivian's vivian's talked about that like if you when you have like cross line groups and meetings and you hear from other people that don't even know about the blue book the emotions book that we talk about all the time. And uh, some, of, some of them don't even have like the oil reference books. Like they, they, don't, they don't do a lot of education. So um, because this component has been such a critical piece of me being successful with my own health, it's, uh, it's very important to me that people have access to that. So, um, yeah, you guys, um, Vivian, John, Ashley, anybody have any anything they want to add? Didn't even know about the desk or something else. Yeah, just um, I would say one of the things that I think is most impressive about our group also is the fact that I mean, we've got diversity in um, our experiences with the oils as well. So, you know, um, we can really uh, utilize all of us to connect with any of our friends that we want to start talking to because likely in our group there's somebody that has had a similar situation mm -hmm. the other thing that i love about our group is you know i mean here's gretchen building the business and she's had talia come and teach classes in her living room she's had amanda come and teach classes in her you know in her living room in her area gretchen has gone to humble gretchen has gone to chico gretchen has gone to napa to help her people i mean this is a group of people that we're just servants and we're mm -hmm. servants for the right reasons we're servants because we know what we know what these oils will do and these supplements will do for for everyone's health their their emotional health and their physical health we just and that's all we want to do is do, we just want people to be healthy and happy it's we don't have a goal to be you know independently wealthy by you know in numbers and just signing people up what does gary say I, I mean i never heard the guy but he said it's not we're not in the business what, what's the quote that he always says it's not about it's not it's not about profit it's about people yeah it's, we're profit. not about profit mm -hmm. we're we're about people and you know i mean we've got i mean gretchen and i have just been supporting I mean, we've got shanna who's in idaho and shanna teaches classes and it, it, we just have an amazing group here we've got an all-star team is what we have and every one of us is willing to say well let me help i'll hop on and um you know so if that, that's just the beauty of, of Young living too. I mean, it's not just a one size fits all. We don't just call in the closer to to get somebody to sign up and get them on ER so that we can get points from their buying of their products because we don't. That's not what we're about. We're about what works for you. Mm -hmm. If it's thirty PV a month, if it's one product a month, if it's just Ningxia or whatever, you know, if it's you know, or if you're all in, <laughs> that we can support you there, and then you get to walk your own journey, and then. You're in our family too, so you're going to have to start sharing about your experiences as well. Yes, it is definitely about loving people where they're at yeah. and, and understanding and respecting, you know, everybody's on their own health journey. And all I can do is offer opportunity. You know, I, I, that is my job is to offer and say, hey, there are resources, there's education, there's support, 
you know, wh when, what do you want to learn about or when you're ready? Like, I mean, I feel like that's all the messages I ever send out. It's like, you know, let me know. <laughs> I, I don't want to, you know, tell you what to do, but like when I, I certainly could, if you <laughs> but I want it, it doesn't, that's, that's the opposite of what we want. We were coming from this mentality of we just need to be told what to do and that healthy is about being told what to do and going doing it and totally disconnecting from your body and not listening to yourself and and not trusting yourself and that's what what this is so much about in 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 all aspects of it not just your health and wellness but you know your and that's why i love the business you guys that's why i love this business because the personal development that you go through to be able to break through your fears and break through all that stuff, to be able to reach out and connect with people. Like you, it's, it's some good, really good work you have to do for yourself. So I'm so grateful for that as well. Um, the stuff that I've learned about myself and how to, um, you know, just be a better person overall. So it's, it really is just loving people where they're at, but continuing to say, there's more when you're ready. <laughs> there's more information. There's more classes. There's this, there's that. You know, whenever you're ready, we're here for you. We're here for you. Yeah. Sometimes that's really hard to do is just let people go because you want so badly for them to, you know, discover this because you like, you see it. Sometimes it's so obvious, right? Like we all have that friend that you're like, oh my God, if they would only do, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're like, they would change their life, but they're just not ready. They're just not ready. So you just keep loving them. You keep sharing with them. You keep talking to them about your experiences. And, you know, sometimes they buy a kit and they don't order again. That's same. It's just the same work. It's going in and saying, have you tried this? What, how have you used it? Did you put it in your water? Did you put it in your diffuser? Like, try it, try it, try it. And because the oils and this, these products, because they're so, you know, authentic and, and true to their source, like true to their energetic source, they resonate with people and they feel them, but they're not going to feel that if they don't use them. So, so much of it is just use it, use it. <laughs> take it out of the box use it did you try this did you try that <laughs> and and some people aren't you know some people aren't ready to heal either so you just okay i'm here when you're ready i'm here when you're and, ready and, and timing is perfect for everyone you can't you don't don't say oh i'm too this or i'm too that don't ever say that mm -hmm. i mean we've heard of a recent experience where there was a there was a uh, what 50 was she 53 when she started the business and she's you know that's when she started that she became a royal crown diamond in five years or four years and, you right. know so so and don't say oh it's too late for me it's never too late i thought i thought i was washed up at age 55 and the transition that my body has been through in the last two years i'm i'm excited <laughs> and it was the perfect timing for me i i could have done it when i was 40 but i didn't but now is the perfect time for me that's and like, when we're when we're talking to people, there's the saying that you can never say the wrong thing to the right person at mm -hmm. the right time. I mean, if it's if it's meant to be, it you know mm -hmm. it doesn't. If it's if it's their time, you can say all the wrong things, and they're still going to sign up. So, <laughs> I mean, they're still going to be excited. They're still going to want to know more, even if they don't sign up right then. They're still going to want to learn more about what you have. So mm -hmm. just kind of keep that in mind too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we, t we say a lot that we're planting seeds, right? We're planting seeds with people. So, um, you know, if they say no, or if they're, you know, don't respond or whatever we have, we, again, it's not about us, like wherever they're at at that moment, it's just didn't work. So we just keep being us, keep being our authentic selves, keep showing people what this is doing for us and keep offering that hope and, um, and keep asking too, because you never know what's going on. Like maybe they didn't get back to you because there's just, you know, something going on in their life and they, 
probably could benefit from oils helping them in that situation. So, you know, say, hey, do you want to just borrow this and see how it feels for you? Like, this is what you need to do with it. Just take it out, one drop, stir it around, breathe it in, like four good deep breaths and just let that sit in. Try that again in a couple more hours and just, you know, give them, especially when people are having a hard time, they need that guidance. They need that support from, from their friends. So um, just keep, you know, don't give up on people. Yeah, Vivian. So people don't know what they don't know. And I'm mm -hmm. the prime example of that. And I remember Talia just like, I was overwhelmed with homeschooling and, you know, she'd call, I'm like, oh my God, what does she want now? You know, but <laughs> something told me I need to talk this is to the, speak to this person. And she was just so insightful and she always, oh, she, 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 Talia grounded me because, and she, she taught me things that, you know, I, I would have never found those or known those answers or questions or knew how to ask. And Talia, I mean, literally, I was like, she was like, come on, like pushing me, you know, trying to push me forward because she could, she could see something, obviously. Um, and she just, she kept at it and she kept at it. And she wasn't even the person that signed me up. Um, so don't, and that's the other thing that Sarah Johnson's really good about that, um, just told us this a while ago, a couple of months ago, she said, even keep, you know, speak to the people that, you know, not immediately under you or, you know, two people. She goes, yeah, these are all your people. It's okay. Reach out, say, hi, how are you doing? Send a card, you know, we're with you. What do you need? Um, because some, maybe someday that person <laughs> that's above them won't be there, but we will. And they'll feel like they could come to us at any time to ask a, a question. Um, there, I mean, my, my, like I have so many things in my head right now that I want to tell you. And I just, that's you know, a good example of, of the role modeling that we got from our leadership, you yeah. know, to create that community. You don't just stop, you know, to, there's no borders or anything like that. Like it's not a, um, you know, just do what your paycheck says or something. It really is create that community because we are all one. Like we're all a part of something and we all impact each other and we're all important in this journey together. And, and also how much I have learned from you, Vivian, and all the people that I get to talk to. And, and, you know, if I would have stopped and said, oh, well, I only need to do this or something, I, I, I would have limited my growth and my healing. So, so I, I love that about our, our team is that we've we've really learned to to um, you know not not see any any boundaries. Yeah, and like you said, Talia, when you reach out to someone and they don't respond, it, our our human tendency is to take it personally. Oh, they don't they don't want what I have to offer, or you know they think I'm weird or whatever. But you know. Maybe their kid's sick or their dog just barfed on the carpet or their husband lost their job that day. Or, you know, I had a member that I signed up and I would, I messaged her, messaged her, messaged her. She would never respond like for months. And then I was back in her town. I was doing a class for one of her friends and she came and she's like, oh, I want to do a class in July. And this was back in this last February. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, just let me know, you know? And, you know, I sent her uh, messages, texts every month, at least once a month. Uh, I sent her project broadcast, you know, more than once. Never hear back, never hear back. I just heard from her this week. Yeah, I want to have a class in July. When can you come? You know, so you, it's really hard. And you talked about the personal growth and I'm really finding that that's been such a big part for me is because human tendency is to take everything so personal and it's about me when 90% of the time it's not about me, you know, it's about them. So that's just another little nugget to, you know, keep in the back of your head when you reach out to people, like Tilly said, you're planting seeds and you never know how far down the line when you reach out to them again, or maybe they will even end up coming back to you eventually. So just always keep it positive and keep loving on people. That's the biggest thing that I've learned. Yes, 
I know I'm looking back here because I know I have white Angelica back here somewhere, <laughs> right? So everybody's like, ah, white Angelica helps you like see the difference between, you know, not get yourself lost in other people's stuff. But another big one is humility. Humility has helped me a lot with just, you know, letting go of my stuff and being there for other people. Like John was saying, this is about service and serving other people. So humility has really helped me with that. And then like valor is great for that courage, but highest potential and believe, right, Christina, believe is so good for this also. And then I think ab abundance has been a, a, a game changer for me because it helped my mind open up to, um, to kind of see past my own kind of poverty mindset about the way life can be. And so abundance really, really opened my eyes. It's kind of like gratitude, the oil gratitude in that sense and, and the concept gratitude, where you start to look more towards the positive and you start to look more towards the good in all there is, rather than focusing on, oh, it's not gonna happen because, oh, blah, 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 or oh, they can't, or I can't, or all the negatives. So abundance has been a big game changer for me on that. But use, use, that's the coolest thing too, is that, you know, using your oils, like you have the tools at home to help you with this business. And every single order that you make is for your family and, or for you and your family, you know, and that is, you're not having to buy stuff to sell it or like have inventory or anything like that. Like every single order that I order is for my family. It's for my family and um, I love that. And I also, I also choose to write it off. Like I write off all of my orders for, you know, my, for tax purposes, because our biggest recommendation is that you need to be a product of the product. Like I'm not going to be successful selling something that hasn't made a difference in my, my life or my family's life. Right. So I, I need to know these products. I need to use them and feel them. And even if like vitamin D is something that you're looking for, but and I haven't used vitamin D, I have used some of the supplements and I know the company well enough to be able to say, I know this company and I know their ingredients and I know the research that they do behind it. So, you know, yeah, try the vitamin D, right? But whatever I'm ordering for my family, it helps my family stay, get and stay healthy. And that's, that's my advertising, right? So hello, I'm getting paid and all of my expenses are going to taking care of my family. I mean, that is like just, mind-blowing awesomeness for the concept that this is my job like that's really cool <laughs> all I have to do is take care of myself and my family and I can have a successful business pretty cool so do you guys have questions? So so tonight was just kind of like an introduction if you're interested I think Wednesday night, we're gonna talk to um, the first rank in Young Living. So there are, you know, there is the whole compensation plan and um, all the logistics of how you get paid and all of that stuff. And so the first rank that you can reach with Young Living is called STAR. And that is when your group volume, so could just be you as your group or it could be you and some friends that you've signed up, reach um, a, a OGV or like the amount that you've purchased is 500 OGV. These are all terms that you'll learn. Um, and when you do that, you reach the rank of star. So um, star is kind of the, the first step in sharing young living. And so on Wednesday night, right? Wednesday night, Wednesday night at seven o'clock, I think it's the same exact link you used to get in here. Um, we're going to talk about what that rank looks like and um, kind of some tasks that people do to, to, if they want to get to star or maintain star or build past there, like what that looks like. So we'll be kind of talking a little bit more about those logistical things then. If you like, you're more than welcome to come. It's all in this, this, this event, the Facebook event that we posted this in. Uh, the following Monday, I believe, is the Senior Star, which is the second rank. 
you're welcome to come to that. And then there's the executive. Um, and then I'm going to also do like a income, the compensation plan. Like I'm going to go over the, the basics of the compensation plan so that you can kind of understand how that works, especially if you're interested in investing into this business you know, knowing and feeling good about the way you get paid is important, right? Like knowing how that works. Uh, so join me for that class also. But if you can't, I have it recorded or we can totally meet up one on one like this and I can go go through it with you. So there's uh, so many layers and levels to all of this, but it is all comes with like just goodness just growth and personal development. And we always say like your paycheck's only going to grow as you grow as a person. Like, and that's been legit real. <laughs> like I, if I want to move forward in my business, it's usually something about me that's holding me back. <laughs> and so I have to use my tools to let those blocks go and and release fears and do all of these things so that i can flourish and that's exactly what i was talking about with health it's those layers that you have to get, let go of so that you can get to that divine inner light that's within all of us so it's really cool and i'm glad you guys are here just checking it out um you can talk to me you can talk to any person on this screen if you want just a, you know ind independent individual conversations um, or just keep coming to these classes and, you know, you're totally fine if you keep yourself muted and listen, whatever. I, you know, have I not said this? I will love you no matter where you are and what you want to do on this journey. So, okay. So any questions? Any more questions or comments? Well, let me tell you, Miss Lucinda, she's on here. She, she's not showing her face because she says her kids are going crazy right now. Um, she's one of my people that I would send out messages over and over and never, and never, I never heard from her the whole year. She fell off and I still sent her messages. Look, look, look where she's at now. And she's like on fire right now. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. And she has three littles. Um, she's sharing like crazy and she's sharing her heart and, uh, she's teaching me things now. <laughs> so it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Sorry, I ghosted you, Vivian. <laughs> I heard you <laughs> trying to get to the computer. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to throw you under the bus, sister, but can you share really quick what, what, uh, your pediatrician told you? Oh, at AJ's checkup, it, there was some stuff that initially the doc, the his pediatrician did his um his checkup. He checked his ears, he checked his nose, he checked his eyes, did the whole thing. But AJ has been having like popping in his in his ears, so he told me, "Can you ask the doctor about that?" I said, "Yeah, that's fine. If you don't remember, I'll remember." So the doctor is about to walk out, and he says, "And no, I told him." Um, by the way, did the nurse tell you about the popping? And he's like, oh yeah, he did tell me. Let me check his ears again. Let me check his nose again. And all of a sudden it's a big issue. Oh my gosh, he's completely blocked off. He has a lot of fluid in his ears. We're gonna have to put in, is he taking medication? I said, no, but I use, I do use oils on my son for his allergies. I do um, use oils at night to diffuse. He wears them during the day and it's helped him. And the doctor was immediately like no you need to put him on a, on a nasal spray he has to be on a nasal spray it'll help break up everything to release that fluid i mean i don't any type of nasal spray that he's used in the past as early as what four years old was the first time that he used it he had a very bad reaction he ended up um i guess he was about to have a certain type of allergic reaction is what they said and with the nasal spray it just opened up all of his airways in his nasal passages, in his ears, nose, throat, mm -hmm. and he blew up and bro broke out in hives. He was swollen on his eyes, his, his whole body was in hives. So we're very, very leery of doing that to him. You know, we don't wanna do that again. And I, I explained it to him. He's like, no, nope, this is safe, he'll, he'll, he'll be fine. 
So the doctor, I was like, but I'd rather use the, the oils. So I never experienced this with him before, but he kind of, he kind of finger in my face, like, do not do this to him. You need to do better. And I, I just, I stood up and I said, I'm not going to do this. So my son, he's like, you just need to try the oil, sir. <laughs> you just need to try, give him a try. I like the oils. They smell good. They make me feel better. I don't have to take that nasty purple. Mom, is it purple or pink? I said, it's purple, baby. It was purple when you took it, the Claritin. And he's like, yeah, that stuff is nasty. He's like, I like the oils. They make me feel better. They work. And yeah, okay, doc, you know, yeah. So we left and I, as soon as we left, I called my husband. I said, I don't understand why, what, what just happened? <laughs> He's never been like that. He's always been pretty understanding as a pediatrician with my kids. He already knew that we've been starting to do the oils for uh, different little things, especially for my daughter. And when we were, I guess I was talking on the phone with my husband, I was venting a little and my son in the background, yeah, he's crazy, ma. <laughs> he, the doctor's crazy. I was like, he's not crazy, baby. He just needs to understand. He's like, can we bring him stuff so that he can try it? Maybe he needs, what's the green one, mom? The green one works on Delilah, my baby. I was like, oh, he needs peace and call me? <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> he needs that one, mom. He needs that one. So ever since then, now for everything, he's like, you have to put my allergy, you have to put my roller on, mom. I said, I, I know, baby, I know. Did you put it on my diffuser? Yes, baby, I put it on your diffuser. Did you put it on my feet? Did you see me put it on your feet? Okay, yeah, you put it on my feet. <laughs> but that's just our little routine. He's used to it. I'm used to it. And it was just, we've never had that experience. And even my son, he didn't really, he didn't really let it phase him, which I was surprised. Because usually he's more like, uh, uh, I don't, so I don't talk to adults back like that. He's, he's not like that. And to that day, he was like, you just have to try it. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. <laughs> so that was my little, my eight-year-old standing up in the oils there. So I was proud, but I was also, I was a little mad, <laughs> just a little. Yeah, so he's been listening to his body, and he knows the difference between the medication that was given to him and, and how the oils make him feel. And yeah. and I know doctors, like, they, they mean well. <laughs> they really do want to help us. You know, they, they just have only learned kind of one modality. And, and AJ remembers going to the hospital. He remembers, he's like, I was itchy. I couldn't see, and I had a hard time breathing. I said, how do you remember that? He's like, yeah, I remember. And you have a picture on your phone. I said, I, I don't even remember where the picture is on my phone. It's that long ago. You, I think he was only three or four. He's eight now. <laughs> so the fact that he remembers all of that, it's like, yeah, I can't do that to him. I'm not going to do that to him. So everything that we've been doing thus far has been working. So I'm sticking to what I'm feeling and I'm knowing that it's working also giving him um my designs and stuff he he likes his vitamins he's he's good he's he doesn't have any other issues or anything so i'd rather just stay that course versus seeing him have different reactions with claritin or having no, nasal sprays and he ends up in the er because his whole body broke out in hives mm -hmm. that's just i'm what i'm gonna do sorry but <laughs> i keep on getting alerts from the from the pharmacy because he called in the prescription but we haven't picked it up so and this is this is what happened to me this was my journey too like this empowerment of trusting my inner intuition about mm -hmm. myself and my kids you know and I'm still definitely on that journey especially when it comes to my own listening to my own body but knowing that I'm teaching my children also to listen and that these oils like you really can't go wrong I mean besides like the hot oil and all those things like you really can't go wrong so I can tell my girls like when they're having a hard time or or they have you know they got injured or either physically or emotionally you know I can say what oil do you want you know and and like I trust I want their intuition to reach out and grab what feels right for them mm -hmm. and to honor that and say yeah you're listening to your body and you know i to me, that was so important about just overall health and wellness anyways, you know, so that you can hear yourself and, and know what's going on in your body. I think so many people are disconnected from their bodies and, 
you know, I mean, in a lot of ways, we're, we're we kind of ha have to be in our society and the pressure to go to work when you're sick and like do all these things is just to ignore yourself and keep going both emotionally and physically. And with this, like, that's what we're learning is to stop and listen and feel and tune in and then, then respond, you know, it, with something that resonates in a, in a natural, you know, way it's it's just it's really really beautiful so for as a mother you know <laughs> learning to trust your gut and to to believe in 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 yourself and but also obviously totally respecting the overall health and i mean um yeah i mean trying stuff, to but. trying to just trust in it and then see the results that they work and there's not any type of reactions that he's going to have and this is initially why we, we started with young living is because of his allergies with dogs and he would just have the worst reactions and we we both felt hopeless we're like there's nothing we always have to have a bottle of claritin with us or before we leave anywhere we don't know if they have dogs okay let's just give him it, the claritin just in case and poor kid couldn't run around because he's drowsy <laughs> and mm. he, he wasn't well, well, what I, I could add something just from the medical point of view we physicians have been trained to elevate patent medicine you know things that are created by big pharma many of which are really life-saving and, and can you know change the course of a person's health the problem is that most of the medicines in out of big pharma are created in a, in a lab that they've never been seen by cells of any organism as opposed to natural products like essential oils that we've adapted to ourselves have adapted to that for thousands, millions of years, and we know how to metabolize that, you know? We can get an allergic reaction to like bee pollen and, and so on, but that is something that, you know, is very, very visible and, and, and known. Thing is like Claritin. I mean, some people are gonna have a bad reaction to Claritin and get really drowsy or their heads will get messed up and other people, it, it will help. Uh, we just don't have that thousands of years of experience like we do with essential oils. And that's why I love, you know, Young Living's uh, uh, repertoire of oils that, you know, come from plants that we've been exposed to, you know, for, 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 for a long, long time. Yeah, Roy, you need to check out the, um, Krista, the, I don't know if you bought the um, Gary's Light with the book with, yeah, you need to show him yeah. that and show, that history that Gary Young did to get those not only authentic, you know, oils with authentic plants that are growing in like, you know, nutrient dense soil and all of that, but he like researched the, the history of, of distillation and how to like really do that right so that you're extracting the essence of that plant and, and that thousand year knowledge, you know, that, that yeah. goes into it, you know, uh, the nature's knowledge which obviously overrides all of ours a thousand percent so yeah. you know just trying to get that that best element that um it's it's just so honorable and if you ever hear him heard him speak or listen to recordings now like you hear that that utmost respect for nature and and from his view you know the gods um what did he say it's it's like god in a bottle like it's it's <clears throat> close to to god yeah. as you can get and um in that sense and he and he encouraged us to to pray over our oils and communicate with our oils and ask with our oils and have that connection um that spiritual connection with them and that that, that will actually enhance our healing as well yeah so, i've had a bad personal experience certainly with Oil like frankincense, of course, everyone's been talking about, you know, just so spiritually transforming for me in my life. And, you know, so it's good. Yes. That's well, it was really refreshing that you're here. And um, hopefully you can change other physicians' mindsets about nature and what nature has to offer. Yeah, I would love to be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome, you guys. Anybody else? We give you a chance. Okay, well, 
hopefully you'll join Wednesday if you like, um, or just message me or anybody, like I said, on this screen to just brainstorm, talk, process, or, you know, ask for the next steps, whatever it is. Um, it's, it's all good. And we're just really excited for you. Like we're really excited for you. So yay, everybody. <laughs> okay. Well, have a good night, you guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Love you.